Crappie Town, USA. All right, a little family fun. Before fishy on, huh? A little family fun before fishy on. Family fun before fishy on. Crappie Town, USA, baby! Let's go. <laughs> Welcome. Alright y'all. Alright y'all, I'm gone. I'm gone, y'all. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm a... Oh boy, I'm gonna leave you in the dust, boy! Y'all don't want none of me! Huh? Alright now, Crummy Town USA, baby! T1, y'all. Tell the people bye. Bye. On the camera. Right here. Tell, tell the American people bye. Right here. Bye. All right. <laughs> good morning, America. Good morning, America. Well, I should say good evening. You're listening to Hot Crappie Town USA Baby Radio. You're about to listen to the smooth sounds of crappie splashing and <laughs> We acting silly. Well, I am. They serious and I love it. We're going to see how serious they is on this water. Huh? You're listening to the smooth sounds of Crappie Town USA, baby. Radio station where you get all your smooth splashes of crappies, bass, and catfish. Huh? <laughs> all right, we better catch some of all this trash I'm talking. We better get out here and catch something. <laughs> Crappie Town USA, baby. Y'all make sure y'all get your orders in for your Crappie Town USA t shirt. Man, we about to get out here and kill these crappies. We about to kill these crappies. You ready, you ready to kill these crappies? Huh? You, you ready to kill, kill these crappies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. USA, baby. All right, y'all. I feel it. About to walk straight into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Why it look like they look green? Right. Yep. Let's do it. When it's green like that, that means the fish is up. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> All right, he do. I feel it. I feel it. When it's it. green like that, that means the crappies is just waking up. You see. <laughs> I just want to reiterate that you have to, uh, you want to follow the bait fish in days like this. Hot summer days, so you have to follow the bait fish. And um, the lighter it is, the more likely they probably won't be up close to shore if you're fishing in clear water. See, right now I'm fishing in what we would call clear water, okay? And a lot of that stuff you see in there, that brown stuff right there, all that brown stuff you see, okay, what that is, is those cattails right there that they cut down. That's what that is, all in the water now. So that, they, that, that has changed the structure. They changed the structure a little bit because it changed the shade that would be over there, okay? So we're taking everything in consideration. That's what you do. You got to be very observant with no boat. And no electronics, okay? Now, I did have a person tell me, remind me of something. They do have um, Earth Map. They do have something called um, Navigators or Navigonics or something, something to that nature. But I, you'll see it spelled out right here. You'll see it. 
I get it for you. I'm not advertising for nobody, but I, I, I will risk advertising for somebody for you to catch some fish because I want somebody to do it for me. I tell you, when I ain't catching fish, I want some answers. Be right back. Crappie. crappie. You got a crappie? I ain't no crappie. Yep. That's a small crappie. All right. Hey, you got something though. Hey, take them, dude. That's small. Here's Here's What feet you at? Mm, probably like three feet. Hello, everybody. He asked me, but hey, we'll take them. Okay, here's the point. Okay, okay here, look. Here's the point I want to make here also. I got to keep my eye over here now. Now, one thing, you got to always be observant and take notes to the place you're at because every place is different. Sometimes they bite real hard. Some places they bite real soft. Uh, one thing I noticed about here, I took note of, uh, they like it moving. They want it, they want it. That minnow needs to be moving. Whatever you use, it needs to be fish orientated. Okay, it needs to be fish orientated. Based on the, the based on what they normally eat here, is fish. Um, the crayfish and stuff have been killed out, so it's not a lot of crayfish in there, and um, it's not. It's, it's mainly fish eating out of here. Okay, and so I'm gonna switch to my jig, and I'm gonna use one of these little bitty old little bitty old um, cranks. Okay, right here. So look, what I notice is that the bigger fish, catfish, bass crappies they got to come in it's just like you no matter how bad the storm is outside no matter how much it's snowing raining hailing at some point you're gonna have to go to the grocery store okay so we know if you're seeing bait fish out here at some point they're gonna have to come to the grocery store so i know that they normally gonna probably be somewhere deeper but they at some point you're gonna try, you're gonna catch them coming in closer near shallow water that's close to deep water so you got another one baby boo yeah but hey, they in there. Little baby boogie, a little buddy club, little buddy club. We're gonna send him back so he can get his brothers. At least somebody getting some right now. Let's see here. We got some action going on over here. Let's see what we got. Oh my god. <laughs> my here, Tez, you need this camera. Here, yeah, you take you the camera. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I'm waiting. Put the net in the water. Okay, he's in there. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That's a big old bass. You saw my bass. I'm supposed to have Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, y'all. We'll get it. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big mama. A big mama. A big mama. <laughs> Midnight bash, y'all. Hey, turn that knob on the on the back of that thing. On the all right, Tez got one. Here, Tez. Go ahead, have your shine. It's recording. <laughs> Call me a crappie, you know what I'm saying? Uh, about two feet, uh, three, two, mm -hmm. two, three feet underwater. All right, where, the, uh, where I put it? Where's that bucket? Look, here go another one. Oh. Because of that bait fish over there? Yep. Look. All right, another black crappie. It's been a lot of action, man. We've been having crazy problem with this, with this camera. So, bear with us. We're in another spot because we we saw bait fish jumping up and down. So we followed the bait fish and got some action. Sorry about the lighting. It's, it's dark and late. All right. So I was trying to show you over here where these cattails been cut down at with a combination of deep water. And bait fish, so um, that was one of the reasons why I came over here because I knew it was bait fish over here listening to them playing. All right, 
That's where you. Yeah, wait, wait. Got it. Got it. They trying to steal on us, y'all. That's what happened. That's what's happening. They trying to steal on us. Hold on. We follow the food. That's another thing you want to do uh, when you don't have a fish finder um, or anything electronic to let you know. Follow the uh, bait fish and look for places that bait fish would try to hide in and you should find um, other fish, bigger fish, hanging out around that. All right. Another thing I want to say about this, these crappies, even bass as well. They, if you really know they in there and they just not biting, I'm going to tell you, they'll stick tight to cover. I mean, I, I mean tight to cover. When I say tight, I mean maybe an inch or two from whatever structure you fishing. They could be that close to cover, okay? They stick tight. It's almost like when it's, you know, you going out to the mailbox on a rainy day. You know how you just stick your hand out there. You just stick your hand out there and get the mail. All right? Just want to throw that, throw that corner out there. Try to get close up. I caught a couple of them just right up against them boats, right up against those docks. I mean, literally, Bobber just leaning right on top of it. Just a little food, just a little food for thought. All right, American people, look. Here's what I, here's what we discovered. I hope I'm focused right, but look. We're not hearing any more bait fish at all. It is quiet. The only thing we hear is an aerator. That's it. Okay. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's bad. Okay. One of the, the three things that's perfect for summertime is water with some depth. And I want to let me let me clarify something. When I say deep or depth, I'm talking about shallow water. That's close to deep water, okay? It doesn't have to be just as soon as you walk to the bank, it's 10 feet down as soon as you go. No, you'll probably never find that. It's not even safe. But look, shallow water that leads to deep water relatively close, meaning casting distance away. Structure, dock, wood, anything, logs, rocks, and bait fish. Those three right there should be good but right now we we missing one and that's the bait fish and that is very important right now because they are wherever those bait fish are because this is one of those type of nights they will be feeding so uh i'm probably gonna go ahead and wrap it up i think it's over i think it's over so try it again another day all right crappy town usa baby All right, y'all. We finna get on out of here. Like I say, places like this, we try to leave before we've been told to leave. You know what I'm saying? Right, Tears over there making that fish batter for y'all. Y'all don't know nothing about that fish batter. We got the young shrimps jumping off. We're making that batter. Alright, I got the town. You know what I'm saying? Right. Come town USA, baby. Come town USA, baby. <laughs> Boy, find that bitch all the way up. Find that bitch up. Long John Silver style, baby. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't start tripping, man. It's all in the tank. All in the tank. This looks like that. Chef 
Fire. Cocktail USA, baby. There go T. Doing like she usually do, just take off and run. She ain't got no poles though, so she can't get on the water before me. All right, American people. As you can see, I didn't turn this spot that I didn't know anything about and never had fished at in the other video to a spot that we come to regularly. So it's a public place. All right, let's do it. 30 minutes, 45 minutes. That's about it. That's all I'm giving it. You're either there or you're not. I'm out. All right, American people. I'm going to try over here on this side of the dock. And T is going to try over there on that side of the dock. And um, we're going to see uh, which way they're coming from. Okay, American people. I am seeing some activity on the bait fish right here. So I'm going to try to dominate this little area. If you can see those little bubbles right over here, that's all bait fish. So you're going to have some bass or some crappie eventually come to try to eat them and I'm going to set them in them right in between them. What you got there, sniper? Black crappie. It's a black crappie. Uh-oh. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Black crappie, y'all. All right. About time. I'm telling you, it's something about fishing for them at night around this time. It was 90-something degrees today. And uh, you almost got to wait till it's almost pitch black, 10 o'clock or something start catching them all right all right what we got here what we got here let's see what we got what we got I hear it I hear it oh he going under the thing right here oh it's a good one too what is that a bass Oh. All right, stay tuned, folks. Yeah, in there. Yeah. yeah. All right, real live action here, real live action. Man, my line got messed up. He messed your line up? That's ridiculous. Look at this line. Oh, goodness, sure did. I had to pull them in by my hand, y'all. Pull them in by my hand. Let's see what we got. All right. That might be the bass I lost earlier. We found him. All right, y'all. Right, Couple pounder, not that, not that big, but it's some action. It's some action. We got that on a shiner. That was on a shiner. About two feet deep. No. About three feet deep. All right. How you feel about that, sir? Well, I wish it was a big crappie the way he was fighting. He tore my pole up. <laughs> what you got? Nice crappie. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> I think that's bigger than the other one you saw. Wait. Wait till Big John see this one. Oh my God. Well, that's a hog. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Oh my goodness. Wait till y'all see this. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. I knew he was out there. I knew he out there. Oh my God! Yes. Yeah, let the American that. people see it. Put it on that. Look at that. I want you to see that. Now I know some of y'all catch these like this every day. 
all day, anytime, anywhere. But I love it. That's what I'm looking for, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Woo! I've been waiting on this one. That's really what I came out here for. Bass at the bass. That's real good. I told you they're going to start hitting. Now, you know when people catch good fish, they got to talk a little bit. So let me talk a little bit. Okay. Crawford Town, USA! Black crappie on a two inch middle and about three and a half feet deep. Okay. Well, what I was doing was following the bait fish, just looking for where the bait fish are. I got a flashlight because they're quiet as ever. And you flash the flashlight across it, and I'm looking for bait fish on the surface, and I just put my minnow just a little below them and um, look for some crappies or some bass or something sitting out here at night. Night crappies. Me and T hitting these night crappies. And the hard step beat as one. Oh, yeah. No more love on the rock. Mm, 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 mm. That's how I feel right now. I'm a holly child in a second. I'm going to go home, kick off a little fire in the back, and, and, met, and think about that one. Like I say, all I'm doing is just adding up spots that I can go, and then when I find spots, I find different territories on that spot that I can fish at because you may go somewhere and somebody in your favorite spot, you need to have more than one favorite spot on the same lake or the same spot. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say. Crop and tell USA, baby! It is what it is. Every now and then you get one. Y'all gonna let me do my dance. I gotta do my dance. <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about that. <laughs> listen, y'all, we ain't even, man, listen, we way past the time this boat be out of here, but this is this is the only time you gonna get them out here. There are some catches that ain't even get recorded because I was way somewhere else with the camera. She had a big, 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 big old bass. I mean, big old bass. I told her I'm always far away when she catching big fish. I don't know. Y'all might think it's a conspiracy, but trust me, I'm not doing that on purpose. I really ain't. I love her. I love her. I wouldn't do it. I just really wouldn't do that. <laughs> All right, y'all. We for the go ahead and vacate the premises. And uh, T called up to this other place that's just kind of like this, another public place. They got 24-hour fishing. So she says she want to go up there. We'll go check a scouter here, and that's my job. Y'all see and my shirt? <laughs> Crappy Town USA, baby. I'm going to go catch this fish. That's all I got to say. I done created a monster, y'all. Can't get off the lakes. Can't get off the lakes. Y'all really knew what time it was. Y'all be saying, hey, man, it's time to go home, pack it up. No. Y'all would think it would be me pushing this, but y'all see who pushing it. I'm telling you. Right. Can't get her off the lakes. She already packed up and ready to go, so I'm about to go. Crop it, tell you what, say. All right, y'all. Little family fun. Little family fun. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate you, man. Gonna get out of here. Right. Subscribe, hit like, share with somebody, leave me a comment. It's all about family fun, friends, and fishing, y'all. That's what we do. All right.